as you can see this is not uh, just uh, you know one prime minister whether it was pandit nehru or whether it was indira gandhi this very dismissive attitude this little rock this island of no, small island of no importance Welcome back. In the wake of Mukhtar Ansari's passing, AIMIM chief Fasadul Nawasi paid a visit to his family. Following this, SP leader Dharmendra Yadav is also scheduled to do so. Now, this has sparked a debate with the BJP expressing concerns over increasing number of political figures offering condolences, labeling it as appeasement politics. Nawasi, though, on his part, has remarked that Ansari's demise, while in judicial custody, places responsibility on the state government for his death. बातचीत किया हमसे न बड़ा वाक कार उसकी जिम्मेदार है तो हम उनको कंडोलेंस और पुरसा देकर आए मैं ऐसे दिनों में इसी को उन तमाम नेताओं को ये कहना चाहूंगा कि उन आठ लोगों के परिवार के घरों पर भी आप जाइए उनके रिश्तेदारों से आप मिलिए और उनका दर्द देखिए कि कितनी बेरहमी से मुख्तार अंसारी ने उन आठ लोगों को मारा था एक विधायक जी के ऊपर तो उसने 500 राउंड गोली चलाकर हत्या की थी तो क्या ऐसे हत्यारी के समर्थन में क्या नेताएं खड़े होना क्या सही है क्या और असुद्दीन ओवैसी जाकर उसके घर जाकर रोना धोना क्या ये सही है क्या viewers bad news for arvind kejriwal a local court in delhi acquiesced in the plea that was put forth by the enforcement directorate seeking his judicial custody for another 15 days in other words viewers arvind kejriwal the delhi chief minister will now be lodged in tihar jail they say in barrack 2 of tihar jail till april 15 viewers dramatic events and i'm just going to pull up the graphics on this story first off to give you a sense really of what transpired in the court as i told you remanded to judicial custody till april 15th but some arguments were made by the enforcement directorate the ed says kejriwal was non cooperative in providing evasive answers the ed also said that kejriwal is diverting the course of investigations the ed claims kejriwal is not providing passwords for digital de devices specifically viewers his apple telephone which seems to be of some evidentiary value the delhi high court dismissed the pil to prevent the chief minister from issuing orders from custody now viewers this remember is also something that is taking place in the backdrop because many people are beginning to ask whether arvind kejriwal can tenably retain his post as chief minister whether arvind kejriwal now needs to find someone he can devolve responsibility to at least in the interim to run the government in other words viewers following the example of other precedents by other chief ministers in a point other chief ministers in a point a caretaker chief minister viewers Arvind Kejriwal right now has not let his mind be known on this particular issue. He is of course hoping perhaps one can't say one can't say viewers he is hoping that the government would move and impose president rule so that he could go out there and appeal to the public and their sentiment through his party and of course other machinery to suggest that a mandate has been stolen. well viewers that's a different gamble altogether and one can't account for that but many people are also beginning to ask whether morally and ethically kejriwal is in the right especially after the enforcement directorate made some astounding claims and those claims are on your screens viewers they told the court that kejriwal stated accused vijay nayar was reporting to atishi and saurabh bhardwaj and not to him this is something that has of course been said in the past 
But viewers, in the context of this scam or alleged scam, the liquor policy, excise policy scam, this assumes a completely different, completely different interpretation because it suggests that this individual, Mr. Vijay Nair, who is alleged by the Enforcement Directorate to be a go-between between the liquor lobbies, lobbying for licenses and ready to pay kickbacks, was not actually speaking with Kejriwal but his other two deputies, Saurabh Bhardwaj and Atishi Marlena. Now viewers, having said that, naturally many people will look at Bhardwaj and Marlena as suspects. And we are hearing, viewers, that the Enforcement Directorate and other authorities might, in fact, start looking at them. Is Kejriwal, therefore, shifting the goalposts? Legitimate questions being asked on the back of this startling claim by the Enforcement Directorate by the Bharatiya Janata Party. Kejriwal has stated that his interaction with the accused Vijay Nair was very limited. Therefore, distancing himself from one of the prime accused in this case, viewers, Confronted Kejriwal with our treasurer N.D. Gupta's statement on the Goa post. Now remember viewers, being the treasurer, he would have known if money was actually being funneled, was actually being funneled for expenses, electoral expenses, to run the ARP's campaign in the Goa election from a couple of years ago. The ARP treasurer N.D. Gupta revealed Kejriwal appointed election in charges. And therefore, Kejriwal would have handed allegedly that money, according to the ED, to these in charges for expenditure. But Kejriwal has said that N.D. Gupta was confused. In fact, Kejriwal said it was N.D. Gupta who has got it wrong because it was the political action committee of the AAP that picked the election in charges. Viewers, the ED says that Kejriwal was shown evidence of 45 crore Hawala transactions for the Goa polls and he remained unaware of the said transactions for the Goa elections. So viewers, all of this is now coming out. All of this is now coming out and of course viewers, many people are also wondering whether the time has come for Mr. Kejriwal to demit office in favor of others and viewers of course the center has already begun consultations with legal experts because there is a window and that window is provided by article 239 a b of the constitution the provision on failure of constitutional machinery if president on receipt of report from lg or otherwise is satisfied that a situation has arisen in which NCT administration cannot be carried on as per Article 239 A or any law in pursuance of that article or very significantly viewers B for, per, for proper administration of NCT if it is necessary or expedient to do so the president may by order suspend the operation of any provision of Article 239 A or of all or any of the provisions of any law made in pursuance of that article for such period and subject to such conditions as may be specified in such law and make such incidental and consequential provisions as may appear to him to be necessary or expedient for administering the union territory the national capital territory viewers and it is this b clause which lowers the bar the threshold for the government at the center to take over the administration. So viewers, let's open this up for discussion. It's an important, pivotal debate really. The people of Delhi, can they repose their faith, continue to repose their faith? And let's ask Akashdeep Muni, political analyst, AAP supporter, can they repose their faith in an individual? I'm talking about the citizenry of Delhi, of an individual who is today in jail, sir, in Tihar jail, the notorious Tihar jail, the infamous Tihar jail. For what? For his role in funneling kickbacks, sir. That is the allegation, stringent allegation.
from liquor lobbies to grant excise license at whose cost viewers mr muni at whose cost at the public's cost at the public's interest so if a man like that today is ruling the capital and that too from jail i have to ask you mr muni has he lost moral authority to do so put your hand on your heart and tell me had this been modi what would you have said today tell me be honest okay rahul ji first of all can uh, kejriwal rule from jail uh, legally he can uh, the high court uh, and the supreme court have disposed of number of cases number of pils the supreme court recently disposed of today disposed of a pil which was asking that uh, for his removal as cm chief minister so legally he can do it uh, can he do it morally yes he can because it is all about vendetta had it not been vendetta then he would have should not i would have said that he should not rule for example uh, there has been uh, cases where uh, people on whom serious corruption charges have been put by bharatiya janata party who has been shoved off all the charges by cbi by ed ed in the case of chagan bhujbal cbi in the case of praful patel now if they can be out and you say that kejriwal is wrong uh, ye baithta nahi hai this is not equitable acha second point is that oh, one second uh, one second when kejriwal was starving <coughs> at ramleela ground with uh, anna hazare and saying that the 2g accused should step down from office where was his morality then was that vendetta or was that uh, standing up for the real moral authority that he brought to bear upon the congress government i want to ask you sir yes yes should he have asked for a rajas resignation at that time and i can bring you out that court of his that they have lost the moral authority in fact he even asked for the dr manmohan singh's resignation at that time remember they were all starving there saying that this is very very wrong okay rahul ji uh, whosoever compares the congress government with bharatiya janata party government and you have been a senior journalist you know that there is no comparison between congress and bharatiya janata party but you made the congress comparison i didn't sir no, i'm only quoting kejriwal back to you that's what i'm saying that uh, you cannot compare congress with bharatiya janata party acha because congress because there congress never used ed to an extent where they were putting oh, sitting so that cage parrot that cage parrot that was flying around and, 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 and sitting on people's shoulder and doing its droppings on their shoulders you allow allow me My to complete God. then i can do it give me give me 20 uh, seconds more now to cop to putting uh, hand upon your heart rahul ji you and uh, ranganathan ji put your hands upon your heart and then justify bharatiya janata party's act of putting bhartejal behind bars let me see how much you are no, 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 no. hang on hang on one second mr muni what are you <laughs> saying am i putting him behind bars it is a court today that has told him to go behind bars poor judges you oh. can ask them i'll i'll actually you know what we should connect you to one of the justices right now and you can ask him put your hand on your heart justice sahab and say why are you sending my poor beleaguered companion soul now again to, to uh, tihar jail uh, listen uh, listen uh, uh, please again uh, please, uh, again please, please mr muni mr muni please just stop there for 30 the seconds i am yet to see to sir attended. mr muni please mm. yes the ed yeah, is yeah. out of control the ed i believe is used selectively i'm on that point i will today say yes but but are sir, aap aaj show me one court are meri baat to sun lijiye akashdeep sahab aapne itna bola maine maine kuch nahi bola sir aapne sir. bola dekho morally he should not because this is vendetta then i go back into the past and i say that morally mr kejriwal is asking for the resignations of top people <coughs> in both connection of 2g and colgate scam You remember the three of them, <coughs> Dr. Ranganathan, Prashant Bhushan, Yogendra Yadav, Kejriwal, holding press conferences. They even said at that time the major aim and the major targeting was at Priyanka Gandhi Vadra's husband, if you remember. Uh, and the gentleman, in fact, was so tickled by a reporter that at one, what's his name, Tehsin Punawala Tehsin. here, is is the in-law of that uh, beleaguered man who was running around. <laughs> and you know saying banana republic in a 
you know, Aam Admin, Banana Republic, those were, what was he saying? Why was he saying that? Out of frustration. Because every day, <coughs> Mr. Kejriwal and Mr. Yogendra Yadav and Bhushan would sit there and bring out tomes, checkbooks, all sorts of things. I, I don't need to tell you, do I, Dr. Ranganathan? So, listen, I mean, when the shoe's on the other foot, it becomes vendetta because it pinches in a certain way. When it was on the other foot, it was, you know, they were putting their best foot forward to land these people in jail. What's going on here? No, Rahul, you just being vindictive uh, because Hamara Neta Kaisa Ho, Mrs. Kejriwal Jaisa Ho. Uh, every citizen of Delhi, including myself, including Tehseen and Dr. Muni, look forward to Mrs. Kejriwal as our next Chief Minister. Please don't ruin that. And um, before I begin my submission, can I please ask a yes and no question to the, um, the epitome of morality, my good friend Dr. Muni. Dr. Muni, do you have any objection to Mrs. Kejriwal becoming a Chief Minister? Yes or no? Uh, personally, uh, yes, I have. Okay. You have objection. Well, that's that's very refreshing. I must say I congratulate you on that. There is still some semblance of ethics and morality left in some people who support AAP. Be that as it may, the couple of questions that have been asked and thrown at you and me because my name was also taken. Rahul, it, in fact, uh, you were the first one to bring out the data that in 95% of the cases where the ED has gone after politicians, those politicians belong to the opposition. I remember that. I was on your show. I think Tessin was also on that show and we complimented yeah. you for it. So this is no one's grouse that ED is being used almost totally selectively. Absolutely it is. I am the first one to admit and Dr. Muni also would uh, realize this that for the last one year we have been saying this. But that's not the issue here. The issue out here is let the ED be selective at every step of the way, Rahul. In this case, the court has been supervising with not just an eye, but an eagle eye. In fact, today as well, it is the court that is sending and asking Kejriwal to be behind bars. It is not ED. Number two, all those draconian provisions that the AAP supporters are saying ED is now using, a PMLA, new provisions ED is now using against Kejriwal. Let me remind them that the Supreme Court three judge bench has not just ratified those provisions, actually stamped them, approved them. So where is the question of Modi, of this government, of BJP or its supporters exploiting laws using illegal methods to detain Kejriwal and other support? Where is it? I asked point blank to Dr. Muni. He has no response other than to say, Allah, Allah, other than to resort to water. Okay, no, one second, Doctor. Please, other other than resorting to water boundary, ki Congress bhi ye kar rahi thi, BJP ye bhi kar rahi thi, aap bhi ye kar rahi hai, lekin aap aap ke piche padhe ho. And it is very, I am I am very embarrassed and very saddened, Doctor Muni, that today the whole genesis of <laughs> aap is because of the massive corruption that was conducted in 2010, 11, and 2000 UPA 2, and today. You've kind of cushioned it. You've said that BJP is more corrupt than Congress. BJP is exploiting ED more than Congress. Is this what it has come to? That just because you are part of the India Alliance, you would completely brush out and airbrush all the crimes of the Congress for the reason for which you are there as a party. <coughs> this is very disappointing, Dr. Muni. Now, now let, me, let me point out something. Since you talked about that period of time, 2012, Dr. Ranganathan, and since I broached it, Kejriwal to Gherao PM house. Yes. Dr. Manmohan Singh's house demanding Kurshid's resignation. Law minister. Unko bhi nahi chhoda. Unko bola ki bhai, he needs to go by 12 noon. And if you don't... Called him Baisakhi Chor. Yes. And there were several reasons for it. Uh, now, I, you know, I, I want to understand this. I want to understand this. Uh... <coughs> Colgate, Arvind Kejriwal came out and said, PM must resign. In fact, the Prime Minister then came out and gave a statement to say, I reject demands for my resignation. Now, sir, can I ask you a question, Mr. Muni? Had this been the Prime Minister of India, the current one, since you have a habit of wanting Prime Ministers to step down, if Narendra Modi had been caught issuing the liquor licenses by some dint of fate, what would you have done? You would have said, nay, nay, vandetta hai. And uh, the CAG is going bonkers. 
and that you know the opposition should not do this congress party don't do this w would you would you or would you say no step down morally and get cleared of the charges in fact there is precedence for this also so i want to ask you mr muni yeah. okay uh, i'll take first question first ramnathan ji said that it is the courts who are doing it bjp has nothing to do the government has nothing to do do with this i want to remind my dear friend about the 2 2017 decision of the supreme court in nikesh tarachand shah versus union of india in which the honorable supreme court struck down section 45 of pmla it was through legislative amendments made in 2018 that it was doctor saab wait a minute now you have uh, let me complete now everyone who is watching it you can check it it is available on free on google there's information in 2018 through legislative uh, amendments the central government reinstated it it is interesting that i want to cite what in 2022 in the decision of supreme court in vijay madanlal choudhary versus union of in india where the where what the union government was asked from the supreme court that what is your view upon this changes you have made in pmla so the government says from the standpoint of the country's obligations and evolving responsibility internationally in the context of union of india relied on the international commitments and recommendation of international bodies including those made for the financial action task force an international body that yeah. revo reviews money laundering prevention measures in various countries are sir uh, mera ye sab chhodiye sir you you know what this relates na sir sir mai jo facts bata raha hu aapko dikkat hai aap bataiye na kya what is the point you are reading the news you know that those are those are rahul rahul second no, one second let him finish what is the point mr muni what is the oh, point get to the point section 45 of pmla struck down no ho gaya jiske ke na ki arvin kejriwal ko manish shishodia ko sanjay uh, ji ko giraftar kiya gaya 2018 mein jo provisions unhone so struck down kiye the supreme court courts, ne, courts ne, mile hue hain aap ye keh rahe hain ki courts mile hue hain na kya keh rahe hain aap to sun nahi pat suni mujhe samajh nahi aa rahi mr muni main keh raha hu ki na ye courts ne 2017 mein struck down kar diya jis provisions ko usko okay let me bring in dr ranganath kar diya aur 2022 jab courts ko pucha gaya ki nahi bhai ye kyun kiya aapne उटरिज्मीज is money laundering to be considered as heinous as terrorism yes is attachment of property to be allowed yes is statement made to the ed to be made admissible yes this all happened with the permission of the supreme court what are you talking about ye nahi bologe aap kya okay okay one second one second one second one second let me ask you let's 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 open this up tehsin pune wala one second okay so you see you see viewers there are people and there are people mr kejriwal described himself as an anarchist if you remember and what do anarchists do they take the hammer the sledge hammer at institutions so i don't blame mr muni he's radicalized anarchist it's okay they don't I believe in the they I don't believe ah well then sir then you, you should accept the fact and you, stop spreading Mr. lies you I can't spread lies on national tv about the fact that I'm the courts are now mixed up i have done a phd My okay. qualifications describe my credibility. But, but I don't. I am not part but, of Aam Aadmi Party. Oh. I am not part of Congress. I never said you were. Okay, I so I am not being not being with any party. You has so internalized. So kindly don't say that this analysis okay. you can use it for everyone. Okay. Not for me. Internalized. Mere koi political nahi hai. You have internalized. Mere kabhi bhi ek paisa nahi liya. ठीक है अच्छी बातें मैंने भी नहीं लिया good and therefore we can speak with a clear head but unfortunately sir you are not giving us. a response on central question in a very simple question if mr kejriwal can ask for prosecution of robert wadra 
on a day in day out basis so much so that robert vadra turns around and says kejriwal is obsessed with me today sir you are sharing a stage with the family that you accused that kejriwal accused of sheltering robert vadra i cannot understand how when you have the gaddi you become a completely different individual when you don't you have a completely different set of moral lenses to look at society this reeks of hypocrisy at least in my book i don't know how it doesn't in yours but sir i respect your point of view it's good that you have given it if you don't trust the courts if you think that they are all part of a larger orchestrated attempt at i don't know unleashing the fury of the ed on various opponents of the government you are within your rights to have that view but it is at the end of the day an anarchist view if you don't believe in your own institutions and the sanctity of your own institutions and you make all sorts of charges without any proof to suggest collusion then that is an anarchist view and i'm sorry i'm not going to let people come here because i stand in contempt of court if i allow this to carry it continue in the way so let me bring in tahseen and let me bring in tohin sinha tahseen punal i want to ask you am i wrong when i said that uh, mr kejriwal asked for the resignation of no less but the prime minister the law minister of the upa government of a raja of several other politicians <coughs> including prosecution of your own brother in law or what have you your jija whatever it is uh under brother corruption law. charges brother in law under corruption charges i want to ask you am i wrong am i facts wrong no 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 it's okay. not okay now let me ask you my second question do you believe that mr kejriwal is being a bit of a hypocrite not applying the same standards and yardsticks that he held up for people in the congress and the congress is then allies to himself simple question sir no he was being a nuisance then now he's now he's undergoing uh, suffering he was a nuisance then and it's the law of uh, karma that's caught up with him however even though that is the case i don't stand by the fact that uh, arvind kejriwal ji should be a uh, behind bars today and please allow me to present my case sure. uh, i'll take less than a minute and a half he's on jail because of two statements by mlp sarath chandra reddy and raghav makunta we spoken a lot about this What your viewers need to know is Raghav Magunta gave six statements saying he doesn't know the chief minister. No, please, 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 uh, Anand, I request you. He gave six statements saying he doesn't know the chief minister. When his father is arrested, seven statements says he knows the chief minister. He's out on bail. Please, Arun Chandra Reddy's Arbindo Pharma, a company founded by his family, public listed company. After his arrest, gives fifty crore odd rupees to the BJP. Then he gives a statement that chief minister is involved. He's out on bail. Chief minister is in jail. Ask one principal question, Rahul. Why does the ED that opposes the bail of Manish Sisodia, Sanjay Singh, and Arvind Kejriwal not oppose the bail of P. Sarath Chandra Reddy and Raghav Magunta? And P. Sarath Chandra Reddy is a money launderer, as per BJP, as per ED. Sorry, there's no difference between BJP and ED. I'm sorry about that. As per ED, why don't they oppose the bail? Second, time and again we are told that why don't they get bail? Courts have uh, our courts involved. No courts are not involved. The law of ED is such. That in the fourteen thousand odd cases, about fourteen odd cases have got bail because you are guilty until you prove yourself innocent, and in a bail matter you don't go into facts of the case, so you don't get bail. Ultimately, D K Shiv Kumar's case got quashed, but it took him one year to be in jail. The process is the punishment, and the same E D B D Bajrang Dal, arm of the B J P, which is such a professional organisation that Chagan Bujbal, who they used to call the most corrupt person in Maharashtra when he was in jail, E D lost the file of Chagan Bujbal oh, case yeah, shut. Profil Patel. Case shut in Karnataka, where their MLA was caught with nine crore rupees cash. Rahul, I don't think you or me have seen nine crore rupees cash. I am sure Dr. Uh, Ranganathan hasn't. Nine crore rupees you cash. They go to court and say we raided him without his permission. Huh? You can watch. You are wearing a or watch. Are I am wearing a Fitbit to see how many steps I walked. But and if you keep saying this, I'll have to walk in Bihar. So stop doing this. There's an ED after me. So stop it. All I'm just making news. And then after joining the BJP. Okay, so so the point you are making, Tessin Punal, let me bring is, it to him. But, but the point is, no, no, just one more thing. It's uh, a manufactured case. Part. So that's why he not only is it manufactured. Okay, not well, only is it manufactured. No, no, no. One more thing. One more thing. Today in court, today in court, they say we don't have money evidence against money uh, against Alvin Kejriwal. Hundred crores got spent in Goa. We don't have money evidence. 
for two years money is sold one and a half years money is sold as in jail okay let me you promise the court you find a chart five, sheet in 15 days where let is that chart sheet okay why did you find the chart sheet okay dr rangnathan five seconds because we have to go to mr yeah. gurumurthy on another debate also yes two factual corrections yeah two two factual corrections or have to join bjp not two approvers it is four approvers he is deliberately muddying yeah. the waters okay. and number two the supreme court overlooked the so called draconian provision i have already said that yeah. thank okay. you okay to in sena very quickly the two of the four approvers as we know are today in the bjp's ecosystem via the tdp and have paid money to the bjp as far as electronic sector etc so they are unreliable and therefore this is a witch hunt these are all orchestrated cases etc etc poor kejriwal is now being punished by the process and therefore he should not be stepping down now that's a simple argument very logically made we are not going into calling questions of the judiciary etc i'm sure you can at least answer that part to to insina well rahul kejriwal had nine summons he had enough opportunity so obviously he had to be taken into into interrogation for to examine you know the uh, the statements made by the other accused now if during the interrogation something more has come up you know because today's judgment by the court is clearly based on what the ed has has managed to access over the last 7 7 or 8 days or the last 10 days when kejriwal has been under interrogation so i don't think you know any of these stand fact is that if you go by the latest twist and turns with kejriwal blaming atishi and uh, saurabh bharadwaj it seems that aam aadmi party is not a political party at all it is a scamming gang and from anna hazare to lalu yadav the way their mentorship has changed over the last 12 years i think this is a party which still has a lot to reveal this is a party which has been hiding a lot so i think you should now that you know the the courts are ruling and the the, the ed has clearly no role in extending his his uh, custody i i don't think we should continuously harp on kejriwal being victimized rather the onus is on kejriwal to ensure that delhi government works well for which he should quit and the onus is also on him to to ensure that aam aadmi party survives because if you believe Rao, some reports if you go by some reports which are coming out aam aadmi party might just integrate and and atishi and uh, saurabh bharadwaj might float their own party okay now look <laughs> just one, one point just uh, one point no no fine 10 no, seconds no, just 10 seconds no well no not actually like 10 seconds i won't take more than 10 the bjp spokesperson tuning said that kejriwal blamed atishi and saurabh bharadwaj which has been a narrative running in the media actually that's not true vijay nair in a statement one and a half year ago said that listen i reported to atishi and saurabh the chief minister only repeated what was already said and accepted in court that's okay, not he put throwing them under the bus just to clarify that one second the context okay, has changed the context one second no, it's one not second, changed. second how did no, it no, change at that tomorrow, time the specific oh. no no one second at that time Let us Vijay, wait for Ashish's explosive Anyhow, press okay. conference tomorrow at 10 a.m. and you will ens- you will see how the Aam Aadmi Party everybody is involved in this. Okay, okay, okay one second. Viewers, viewers, viewers. The BJP's basic claim today is that the AAP has dropped its moral standards over corruption. Today, it partners parties okay, that it itself singled out for being tainted and corrupt. Number two, the BJP says that look. when it comes to this particular issue it could have complied kejriwal could have complied with the enforcement directorate the process would not have been as excruciating as it is today had he done so within the first summon or the second summon another gentleman mr ghelot a cabinet minister has done viewers the fact of the matter is today that mr kejriwal is in jail does it behove a chief minister can he even forget about behove can he even effectively govern from jail that's a fundamental question and that needs to be answered now whether it will be answered because the center will swoop in and impose president's rule or mr kejriwal will pick a successor in the interim we have to see i'll take a very short break we'll be right back viewers very important issue the kachachiwu issue dr ranganathan and mr gurumurthy giving their perspective on this don't go away
Prime Minister Modi, Modi, who began his poll campaign in Meerut yesterday, raised the issue of Kachatiwa Island yet again. Hitting out at the Congress and the DMK, Prime Minister said that the Congress government in 1974 gave away India's Kachatiwa Island callously to Sri Lanka. He said that the fishermen continue to face problems due to Congress's decision till today. Politics soon erupted over the matter with the DMK and Congress, saying that the BJP was on purpose raising this matter at the time of elections. BJP hit back at the opposition, saying that the people of India will never forgive them for compromising the territory of India. Remember, Kachativa is a tiny island located between Sri Lanka and India, and the island was ceded to Sri Lanka by Indira Gandhi's government in 1974. Over the last few years, increasing number of Indian fishermen have been arrested by the Sri Lankan Navy and hence the island has become among Tamil Nadu's most hot button political topics. With that now, we uh, have some reactions into the story. Let's first have a look at those. Tamil Nadu se aage Sri Lanka ke pehle, ek tapu kisne kisi dusre desh ko de diya tha. कब दिया था कहां गई थी क्या ये भारत माता नहीं थी वहां क्या वो मां भारती का अंग नहीं था और इसको भी आपने तोड़ा और कौन था उस समय श्रीमती इंदिरा गांधी के नेतृत्व में हुआ था कांग्रेस का इतिहास मां भारती को छिन्न भिन्न करने का रहा भारत के मछुआरे मछली पकड़ने के लिए समंदर में जाते हैं इस द्वीप की तरफ जाते हैं तो इन्हें गिरफ्तार कर लिया जाता है उनकी बोट को कब्जा कर लिया जाता है ये कांग्रेस के पाप का परिणाम है कि हमारे मछुआरे आज भी सजा भुगतते चले जा रहे हैं। When people are uh, rejecting them again, they want a diversionary tactics. They had been their discrimination towards Tamil Nadu is well known. Yames Madurai is in not even started. All the projects in Tamil Nadu has not even started. Only foundation stone, only one brick is there in everywhere. This kind of discrimination against Tamil Nadu, they want a diversionary tactics. For that... Viewers, it doesn't matter whether the 2024 Lok Sabha election in Tamil Nadu specifically will be won or lost on the alleged omissions of the Congress DMK on an issue that dates back to 1974, 50 years. The voter is in fact unlikely at least at this moment to grasp the full implications of the inexplicable decision taken by Indira Gandhi in agreement with then DMK Supremo and Chief Minister M. Karunanidhi to hand over Kachachivu Island to Sri Lanka. But what the revelations around Kachachivu will do instead is make it very difficult from here on for the DMK to claim that it is the sole guardian of Tamil Nadu's interests. For decades now, since 1974, at least two generations of voters in Tamil Nadu have been told ad nauseum that the centre gave away this strategic island in the Pork Straits, that the central government under Indira Gandhi did this because politicians in the north have a callous disregard for Tamil Nadu's sentiments for Tamil Nadu's sense of sovereignty and identity or for that matter the sentiments of anyone south of the Vindhyas. The DMK has thrived by perpetuating this north-south divide, this myth for decades altogether. In July 1974, DMK MP Era Saryan fumed at Indira Gandhi for hiding the island pact from Tamil Nadu. But now it turns out that his own boss, Karuna Nidhi, had acquiesced in the decision. In fact, the record of the discussions between Indira Gandhi and Congress government and the centre and M. Karuna Nidhi led Tamil Nadu state government in 1974 shows that the DMK Supremo may have got to know of the prospective agreement with Lanka ahead of many in the union cabinet. 
in Mrs. G's cabinet and in the ruling Congress, even at the state level. Now with the DMK's first family having been exposed as co-conspirators in the decision to give up India's claims over Kattativu, the DMK's fulminations at the centre come across as severely hypocritical. Ironically, it is the BJP that has often been accused of being a Hindu upper caste, Hindi belt party, an interloper in Tamil Nadu politics that can today take credit for unmasking the DMK before the Tamil Nadu public by placing never-before-seen government documents in the court of public opinion, the BJP has left the DMK literally with very little to say. Now, viewers, the hard facts are there on your screens. Right from 1924, Lanka exercised jurisdiction over Katsativu without challenge or protest from Indian authorities. In 1955, Director of Civil Aviation in Ceylon intimated to India that Ceylon Air Force would carry out gunnery practice. The Indian High Commission asked Lanka to refrain. Thank goodness. In 1961, however, Nehru's letter to Vaidi Gundevia, Commonwealth Secretary, said, I attach no importance at all to this little island and I have no hesitation in giving up our claim. In 58 viewers, Attorney General Setalwat said, matter is by no means clear or free from difficulty, but it appears to me that balance lies in favor of concluding that sovereignty was and is in India. 1960, Dr. K. Krishna Rao, JSLNT, judged purely from evidentiary value of competing claims, I submit that those of Ceylon are more substantial. On the other hand, India has a good legal case. 1961, MEA said, not certain if our claim to the island can be easily established in law. Our case may be at best 50-50. Viewers, why was the Nehru government going against some of the legal and official voices of its own government? In 63-68, India's claims asserted through continuous exercise of jurisdiction in form of visits by customs excise officials. No official records to prove that Kachitivu was ever under the control of Jaffnapuram, which was of course the province of Sri Lanka. In 1974, Foreign Secretary Keval Singh However, meets M. Karoninithi and explains the weakness of India's claim over Katatibu. On what basis, viewers, is a fundamental question. Of course, viewers, in 1974, convinced by the centre, Karoninithi agrees to terms of proposed settlement. In 2015, the MEA and RTI response said agreement with Lanka did not involve either acquiring or ceding of territory since the area in question had never been demarcated. Yet, viewers, the same centre today comes out and accuses the DMK and the Congress of ceding. India's rights. So viewers, whether it's all politics or not, was Kachativu India's to give away in the first place or not? Let's put this to the test. Let's speak with the editor of the Tughlaq, Mr. S. Gurumurthy. We also have with us uh, Dr. Ranganathan. I want to first begin with you, Mr. Gurumurthy, and it's an important, very important topic. And let's first get rid of all the baseline assumptions. And this is important. Let's get first out of the way this whole controversy and its political underpinnings. The DMK and Congress are alleging that this island row is being dredged up only to color the polls. Is this claim valid or not, in your opinion? Mr. Guru Murthy. See, this claim would be valid if this Kachi TV issue is not raised in Tamil Nadu politics. Hmm. This Kachativi issue has been a constant irritant in Tamil Nadu politics. At times, it requires very aggressive dimensions because of this, uh, this fisherman issue. Added to that is the complexity in the relationship between uh, Sri Lankan Tamils and uh, uh, the Tamil Nadu uh, politics alliance, which uh, took shape much after the uh, Kachativi issue. Uh, got into uh, kind of an agreement between Sri Lanka and uh, India by which it was handed over. Afterwards only the Sri Lankan Tamil issue became a very, very uh, important issue in Tamil Nadu politics. Till today, Kachativu issue is an issue in Tamil Nadu politics. How Kachativu got transferred to Sri Lanka is an issue on which the DMK has been lying. We, we opposed it. And the Congress has been mum. And repeatedly, this issue coming up. 
no one knew the facts what actually happened now the facts have come out how can you say this issue is being raised this issue is already there well i'll tell the you public- because because uh, mr gurumurthy it is the bjp state president who filed the fir mr annamalai got out these facts so people are saying that this shrieks of orchestration no where is it actually I tell you when everybody is lying the bjp which is a player in tamil nadu politics today hmm. it wants to know what is the fact because bjp was not in the picture in 1974 when it happened it is between the congress and and the dmk at that time of course kamaraj was alive and congress itself had got split into two the indira congress was in alliance with the dmk and so kamaraj passed away no one knew what happened at that time the political players today were not in the picture at that time so when kachatiwi is being very uh, intensely discussed even today the role of who uh, and who had to be made clear and anamalai did a public service by by filing an rti and bring out the facts which nobody did why why didn't uh, anybody else do it you must actually thank annamalai for having okay. uh, taken this initiative and bringing out the facts how can you say okay, this is for electoral purposes okay but look the timing you know raises questions but can the bjp derive any political mileage from this controversy can you make an assessment of this the congress dmk says if you're so concerned if you believe that such a great injustice was done by the congress uh, and the dmk in the past in 1974 why don't you just tear up this particular agreement throw it out of the window and reclaim kachatiwa you see it is not an electoral alliance that uh, the two parties can uh, join with uh, go join today and tear up the alliance and go to another kind of alliance in an international uh in international diplomacy and international relationship you enter into an agreement and you can't unilaterally tear it it's actually absolute illiteracy for someone to say that uh, the bjp should breach the agreement which was committed to by the congress party it is not as congress party but as a nation as the prime minister and uh, another prime minister comes and tears up the agreement how can international relationships work so it has nothing to do with it the question is that there is a lie which is being constantly told in tamil nadu politics that kachatiwu was handed over by the central government no one you would even say it was by indira gandhi or the congress this was an issue which was devised to divide north and south the dmk always used to take up this issue as if something wrong has been done by the center against tamil nadu it is good that facts have come out that the co conspirator in this is the very party which has been trying to divide the country on the base of north and south by citing the kachatiwu issue in fact this is the second service annamal has done by exposing the dmk you have been a party and you have told you know please i will be opposing uh, uh, for, for as a formality mm. but inside i am with you i mean this is the kind of agreement indira gandhi and karuna nidhi reached at the time and they were in political alliance okay let me ask you this because uh, it seems that prime minister nehru went against some of the legal officers and the foreign service officers of his own government why would he why would he do that where do you think he was coming from you see why do you only look at kachatiw nehru must have been a very tired and fatigued person you see a, a, a run of kach he referred to it for global arbitration and lost it and in uh, in ladakh when there was a debate in parliament that we have lost such a vast territory of land jawarlal nehru said not a blade of grass grows there you know we don't look at a, a land as whether it is useful for agricultural purposes or for industrial purposes hmm. there is also another thing called strategic use of land strategic use of island the whole world is now fighting for small pieces of island here and there what is the fight between japan and uh, china today a few pieces of island 
the entire uh, world is now fighting over small small pieces of land from where they can supervise others from where they can monitor ship movement i mean kachatheevu is a very important strategic piece of land between india and sri lanka you see sri lanka had shown tendency to ally with china by the time when kachatheevu uh, deal took place when sri lanka is getting closer to china should you not consider this to be a very strategic piece of land if china and sri lanka were to get closer nehru did not have with all his uh, uh, fame and name and, and partly he he had his role in india but i don't think he was a strategic person and he he, he didn't understand that india had a strategic role to play in the world because that was probably beyond his comprehension i would put it that it was highly illiterate act on the part of the prime minister of india at the time to regard the piece of island as useless okay okay let me ask you one final question why would mr karunanidhi have collaborated on this he was very aware as you can see the documentation about a backlash from the people of tamil nadu so why would he have done so he positioned himself as a safeguard guardian of tamil interest you see at that time the people of tamil nadu the backlash could have come only from kamaraj you know the opposition at that time to to uh, dmk was from the organizational congress which was led by kamaraj mm. and the ruling congress was in alliance with uh, with karunanidhi so karunanidhi did not face any mass resistance it is just he had to manage public opinion and he had no conviction about retaining retaining kachatheevu he, he had a greater emphasis on the relationship between indira gandhi and himself against against kamaraj so kamaraj was the principal political force against which he had to work for which he needed the alliance of indira gandhi so it was purely selfish political purpose which made him work with indira gandhi in all matters including kachatheevu mrs gandhi was determined to give kachatheevu that is why she sent to the foreign secretary to karunanidhi and it was always um, uh, an effort to manage karunanidhi right. so that if karunanidhi agrees then there will be no big problem and karunanidhi agreed he only said you know please don't uh, tell outside that i have agreed i mean these are dishonest politics okay he could well have said yes we think it is in the interest of uh, uh, um, indo uh, 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 sri lanka relationship that we should give it up i can understand that but the man was playing and publicly making pro forma statements against it and these pro forma statements became as if he was against it and that is what has been exposed today that this okay. man's opposition the dmk's opposition which was later turned into some kind of a north south divide as if the central government was working with sri lankan government against the sri lankan tamils and the tamil nadu people i mean this whole uh, north south divide was built on the base of the dishonest conduct of uh, the chief minister of tamil nadu at the time who for his own selfish political reasons worked with indira gandhi what was the compulsion of indira gandhi to hand over this piece of land to sri lanka hmm. i am not aware okay it was not necessary at all why did she do it and why should karunanidhi cooperate in this all this has come out only because of the exposure of these facts otherwise the whole thing whole picture would have remained hazy okay okay well i mean you understand the kind of dishonest politics that this has exposed well, i can I'm understand happy. even if it is done in the context of elections at least truth has come out Well, I can understand why, obviously, some people are upset. Uh, Dr. Ranganathan, your point of view on this? What do you make of this? Uh, Rahul, I don't agree with you. Please appreciate the kindness of the Nehru Gandhi dynasty. Nehru gave Aksai Chin to China. Indira gave Kachatheevu to Lanka. Rajiv gave Rahul to India. No, no, but seriously, these dynasties have always treated our territories like pearls on a necklace around their entitled necks. as if it is there to gift away two issues here because both are connected just give me you know a couple of minutes because i want to discuss congress politics and congress psyche that allows the congress politics 
on congress politics as usual pandit nehru is the root cause of kachu pivu as well rahul it was he who said in 1961 and i quote hmm. i attach no importance to this little island at all and i'd have no hesitation in giving up our claims to it unquote and the dutiful daughter carried out his unfinished business in 1974 the island was signed away as court it was a dispute site and india's claim had to be balanced with the need for good bilateral ties uncourt that's right at the altar of good bilateral ties you give away our precious land to pakistan to china to sri lanka land bhi chala gaya aur good bilateral ties bhi chali gayi rahul the control of this island is crucial for india as its waters are abundant for fishing and our fishermen are routinely arrested and thrashed by the lankan navy for straying towards kachatibu that is rightfully ours and it is shameful that the same dmk that was in cahoots with the congress over relinquishing our rights on kachatibu is now claiming to fight for the rights of our fishermen returning to the second issue very briefly the congress psyche or dynasty's benevolence rahul right from the time when dr ambedkar signed from the congress in 1951 resigning warning that under nehru india was being made to champion china's cause and that its quixotic and suicidal foreign policy would lead to the court ruination of india uncourt to the congress presiding over the laws of aksai chain but being nonchalant about it saying not a blade of grass grows there to nehru thoughtlessly taking kashmir to the un to nehru rejecting the king of nepal's offer to merge nepal with india to nehru giving up on coco islands to nehru rebuffing an offer to india to be permanent member of the un security council and in fact advocating that china should become one moving swiftly to contemporary times the same rahul who today accuses modi of selling india out the same rahul was tight lip when china occupied 640 square kilometers of eastern ladakh during the upa a fact reiterated by upa's own foreign secretary who knows perhaps calling for the break up of ladakh was an obligation on part of the congress in that mou that it signed with the communist party of china back in 2008 the same rahul was tight lip when china managed to make 600 incursions into the indian side between 2010 and 2013 including in 2013 when the chinese entered 28 kilometers deep into our territories in depsang including on june 17 2013 when the chinese transgressed deep into chumar right. an incursion the up did not disclose for 3 weeks for fear of public anger forcing the cancellation of the defense minister visit to just 30 seconds the same rahul remained silent at our shameful capitulation in the sharmal sheik agreement under the upa where we allowed the insinuation that we were fomenting trouble in baluchistan worse air chief dhanowa is on record saying that indian air force wanted to bomb terror hideouts in pakistan in the wake of 2011 but was forbidden to do so by the then prime minister manmohan singh kashmir Ladakh, Koko, Kachatibu, Rahul. These were pearls on the necklace that adorned the dynasty's neck. Small mercies. The entire necklace hasn't been taken off and gifted away. But who knows? It just might if the Congress returns to power. Well, viewers, uh, you've heard two different points of view. One more focused on the larger picture by Dr. Ranganathan, and one in the context of Tamil Nadu politics, viewers, and this North-South divide. from Mr Guru Murthy thank you gentlemen i'll take a very short break go power by and welcome to the brand new series election street side this will be a fun segment where we'll be focusing on food but we'll be also talking about the politics in fact it's just few months for the general elections and we are here to gauge from the people exactly what they think about the coming up elections and also about their particular candidates ni <laughs> chok One thing we cannot miss is Gol Gappas or the Puchkas. We say this is Padam Chat Corner here in Chani Chowk. Perhaps this is one of those hidden gems a lot of people don't know about. Some people might know because uh, this is a local eatery situated in the streets of the national capital. In fact, I found a family over here. I dare not disturb them while eating. In fact, the gentleman over there is still enjoying the bhalla and dahi Gol Gappa and stuff. 
सर दही बल्ले का आप मजा लेता रहिए एक चीज पूछना चाहूंगा दिल्ली में और देश में चुनाव आने वाले हैं बहुत कम समय रह गया है क्या देखते हैं अभी की सिचुएशन के हिसाब से क्या लगता है आपके मन पसंद प्रत्याशी कौन है क्या किसको जीतता देखते हैं जीतेगा तो बीजेपी अच्छा क्यों इतनी श्योरिटी क्यों है आपको क्योंकि काम अच्छा हो रहा है और आम आदमी पार्टी के बारे में तो सबको पता चल ही चुका है अभी कितने घोटाला हुआ है तो फिर उसके बाद कुछ बोलने का बचा ही नहीं है एक होता है मेरिट पे वोट देना और एक होता है चेहरे पे वोट देना आप क्या चूज करते हैं मेरिट या चेहरा अभी तो मेरिट पे ही वोट दिया जाएगा कभी चेहरे पे वोट नहीं जाएगा कोई सगा नहीं है मेरिट जिसका अच्छा है वो उसी को वोट देना चाहिए वो चलो ठीक है मैं बोल दिया आप बीजेपी को जीतेगा पर आम आदमी पार्टी का कोई अच्छा चेहरा होगा तो वो जीतने जीतेगा अच्छा आपकी कॉन्स्टिट्युएंसी कौन सी होती है साउथ दिल्ली साउथ दिल्ली तो आपके प्रत्याशी रामवीर सिंह भिदुड़ी है उसमें से जी और सही राम पलवान आम आदमी पार्टी से जी 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 तो क्या कहते हैं मतलब आप खासा खासी अगर मोटे तौर पर देखा जाए तो खुश रहे भाजपा के काम से और उन्हीं को अगली बार दोबारा देखना चाहते हैं Viewers, big relief for the Congress Party ahead of the Lok Sabha polls. The Income Tax Department told the Supreme Court today that it will not act against the Congress Party to recover tax dues amounting to over 3,500 crore. The matter will be heard next on July 24th. The Congress had approached the Supreme Court after it received notices from Income Tax Department seeking the payment of tax dues amounting to that whopping number of 3,567 crore. The opposition party has accused the ruling BJP of tax terrorism. and alleged the income tax department's move as an attempt to choke it financially in the run up to the polls the party had said that this was disrupting the level playing field for the polls and also urged the election commission to intervene but as luck would have it the it says we are stepping down we can discuss this matter with you after the elections i'm handing you straight across sir, to anand narsimhan and the right stand नमस्ते जय हिंद एंड वेलकम टू दिस एडिशन ऑफ द राइट स्टैंड आई एम आनंद नरसिम्हन गवर्नमेंट ऑयल कंपनी